Hello everybody, welcome to Tuesday's Unboxing Gear Review Day here at Shopfield Music. Uh, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. Hit that bell. We'll send you notifications. So moving forward here on the gear review, I wanted to talk about my tele A lot of times when I'm playing and I want to switch to my neck pickup or my bridge pickup, I'm kind of in a hurry and a lot of times the tip will pop off and uh, it's quite annoying. A lot of times I'll just play without it. So uh, I wanted to talk about that as well as the fact that this tip, when it comes back to where the volume knob is, it's so close, uh, and I'm really more a Les Paul player, so uh, I imagine if you're a Telecaster player, or uh, that's all you've ever done, then certainly you probably have adjusted yourself to play to it, but uh, I myself have not. <laughs> so uh, what I'm uh, uh, going to embark on here is, a uh, first off, a new tip that actually locks down to the post and doesn't come flying off like this one would. Second of all, um, I found out that they make plates where your volume knob is moved back three eighths of an inch from where it normally is to give you that space to get between that volume knob and that switched. So yeah, we'll go in on that. It should be a pretty quick, simple, easy fix anybody can do. Um, a little bit more on the pricey side. I really didn't want to spend that much money, but uh, I'll leave links below for you to, to uh, click on and you'll know where I got all my parts from. The, uh, the switch cover, you can get them in chrome. You can get them in uh, stainless, I believe, brushed, uh, vintage looking. They're, they've got quite a few, as well as you can get different tips. Um, I wanted to go with black. Uh, they didn't offer the top hat, which was fine because I, after reading up, I believe these round tips uh, were supposed to work with the round knobs that you see there. And the top hat was technically supposed to be with the uh, knobs that were more flat at the top, uh, as far as period correct. Uh, not that this guitar is period correct, this is simply just my GNL. ASAT Classic Blues Boy 90, um, made a couple years ago, I think. Um, so uh, anyhow, yes, the uh, wanted to talk about where these parts came from. The uh, switch tip was from Glendale Guitars, and this came in at thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. That was uh, uh, a charge of three dollars for shipping. This is called the Hot Rod Roadster Switch Tip. Now, like I said, they make these in stainless steel as well, and metal, and different configurations. They did not, however, make a top hat design, which is fine. I was okay because I thought, well, this will make my Telecaster a little more period correct, I guess. Plate cover, volume knob 3 8 back from the original, came from Rudder's Guitars. And that came in at $30 for free shipping for the plate. So, yeah, I've got 60 bucks wrapped up in this, so it's a question of if you want to spend that kind of money for the ease of playing. To get started, I wanted to talk about a couple of the tools that we're going to be using. Basically just a number one and a number two Phillips screwdriver, 5 ths Allen key. This will be used to take the... Uh, the knobs off here. Half inch socket. Now mine's just a T handle. You can get a regular ratchet that works as well. So yes, let's move on and we'll start by taking the uh, the knobs off. That one was pretty easy. I'd already had it loosed before. There's that. And we'll take off our switch tip screws here. Let's remove our top hat and lift this up. Oh, my fault. Take our plate screws out with the number one screw Phillips screwdriver. 
getting ahead of myself here. Now we'll lift it up carefully and then let's loosen these nuts here for the volume potentiometer. And it has a flat washer on there. We'll go back to this one here. like to keep them together and put them right back on the same one. So here is the difference plates. You can see where the new one's going to be versus the old one where that volume knob, knob will be relocated. I have to turn them a little bit. I have a uh, capacitor in here, an Emerson paper and oil capacitor, if you can see that right here. And it's relatively big, so I'm going to have to manipulate these so that it fits in there. size of your capacitor you'll have to play with that you want to be careful not to bend it too much where you break the solder joints on there all right one thing I am noticing is this doesn't line up with the pick guard we could try and see if our pick guard will shift at all don't want to go altering my guitar to the point where I can't put it back to stock. For those who do play the Telecaster quite well and might want it as a standard Telecaster without any mods done. It's a tight fit, but I think it's going to work. Now I see that this hole is off a little bit, but maybe it'll help pull that plate back a little bit and get it away from that pit guard. And it looks like everything is going to be pushing it in the right direction here. I was concerned that maybe that pick guard might bulge up in the middle. But it's not. Pretty heavy duty one ply that GNL installs on their guitars. It is a little raised in the center, but not horrible. Nothing to about now. I'm going to turn that up and up. And I like to install the screw. Volume is up so that it is facing this way. And I can see when I've got the volume up and when I've got the volume down. Up would be more in the back and down is going to be facing towards me. And the same thing with the tone. Try to keep those all about the same so I know where I'm at in Teleland. All right, and now we have our switch tip. As you can see, this takes a small flathead. So we will use this to tighten the switch down. Now the question is, do I want to see it or do I want to have it on the bottom like that? 
probably on the bottom, I think is gonna look nicer. I'm gonna take that set screw and tighten it down there. I like that. Okay. So now when you're playing and you want to look, I have the space here between the volume and the switch that I can get in here and and I don't have any tips flying anywhere. It still maintains a relatively stock look with the black tip chrome uh, plate in the the two round knobs. Cool. I like it. I think it's going to work fine. I don't see any issues with uh, the pick guard being different. So, all right. Well, we know that will work on a GNL ASAT Classic. So, excellent. I forgot to also mention that anytime you're working, a must have tool, but whatever you put in it, that's your choice. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this quick switch plate cover uh, and switch tip replacement mod for a t for a guy who doesn't play much <laughs> from all of us at Shopfield Music thanks for watching our gear review slash unboxing day hope you've enjoyed this uh, switch tip uh, control panel plate replacement any questions leave them in the comments down below I will leave links in the description to where I purchased these and uh, and if, you would, if you're interested in buying them, you can click the links and go right to the, the site where I purchased them. Um, they, they don't sell them on Amazon, Musician's Friend, or anything like that. So you'd have to go right to their website is where I ended up going. And I just used PayPal to pay for it. So, all right. Enjoy. Cheers. And uh, please subscribe, like and su please like and subscribe. Or info yeah. Day review day. Day. Boxing day.